Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with Boomerly. Most boomers recognize that in their 50s it's time to get fit and, and to get in shape and maybe they've gone for many years without doing any kind of exercise so you know off they go to the gym I'm um, including myself in this and you know and you know do the very best to get and get into a routine of exercise that's good for them but I'd like to suggest that they may be making one very important mistake I'll tell you a story. The other day I was at the gym and I was looking uh, at a woman being led around the, um, the new circuit. Um, she was obviously brand new. She had the brand new outfit on. She looked really sweet and you know you could see that she was not a little bit nervous about the environment. Lots of people lifting weights and there she was just learning again. Maybe after 20 years you know she's never been in the gym but uh, the trainer was going around with her and teaching her all the different um, uh, pieces of equipment and she was paying attention and taking notes and doing everything and I, I just looked at her face and I felt oh my gosh she's so overwhelmed and I know how she felt because I've, I've done this and you know it's can't try to remember everything and feeling insecure feeling embarrassed feeling you know fat and ugly <laughs> all those things that you go through when you're back in the gym for the first time so you know I knew in my heart that it was going to be hard for her to continue and I was hoping I would see her again but I, I never did and I think that that the lady and her trainer were both making a mistake and, and it's one that I've made and um, you know I think is important and that is to try to do too much at once at the beginning and to, you know being overwhelmed by the the, um, the the whole experience you know really what's important is to establish a pattern of behavior and to a routine um, of uh, exercise that you can you know accomplish one small step at a time and that what's most important in that first month or so is not not really to lose weight or to you know feel like you've got endurance that you didn't have or strength it's really just to show up <laughs> just to go every day or you know every other day if that's what you can manage but just to create a routine a pattern of behavior that is going to going to make you feel good you know and that self-esteem will take you um, then to the next level and when you're feeling like you've got it and you're feeling like you you've accomplished that those establishing that pattern then you can talk to a trainer about you know doing some more complex things and um, you know just building on the uh, routine that you've established so I for example I do a circuit um, of different uh, machines and I started doing just two and then I went to three and kept adding every time I went and um, you know now I'm, I'm you know, ready for it to go to the next level using different um, you know weights and so on that I wouldn't have I, I would have been overwhelmed at trying to learn before. So start slow, that's the advice, and not to assume that um, a measure of your success is being able to do everything at, right at the beginning. So that's my question for you. Do you think that it's important to, to start slow, that that's the best strategy for picking up um, an exercise routine in your 50s? I'd love your feedback on this. And if you've done other, if you have other ideas, if you've used other techniques that have worked for you to get you into an exercise re regime and that's, you know, it's worked, please leave your comments in the section, in the article on the website. And, um, you know, we can share conversation. We can learn from each other. Um, thanks so much. I hope everyone is having a great day and um, go work out in the gym today. Just get, take that first step. Thanks everyone.